viedzeļi no stajā, kas ir mūsu pašu dzimtenei kultūrā, mūsu kultūrā. So I went to my roots, I found I am from Slavic roots and I starting study Slavic tradition. Un tagā manas sapnes iesniedzas slavu tradīcijā, tad es esmu sācis pētīt šo slavu tradīciju. And then uh, all things came uh, many years past. We starting uh, with my friends and with my organization of Kobu uh, reconstruct the rituals by all texts. Un uh, kopā ar draugiem mēs izveidojam tādu kopu organizāciju, uh, kad tūkam Oko Boku, tad Dieva Ats. Un uh, mēs sākām uh, rekonstruēt cenos uh, uh, nu tāds rituāls, senās tradīcijas, uh, nu pētot uh, avotus. And it works. Uh, un tas uh, tiešām darbojas, mēs sam daudz ko atraduši. Uh, first time in my life I felt the my native roots and uh, so I uh, little bit give up with the native American tradition and I started to go deeper in, in the Slavic my own roots. Un uh, tātad novērsos no šiem amerikāņu pirmie dzīvotāju cilšu pētījumiem un vairāk pievērsos tieši savu slāvu sapņu pētījumiem. Slāvisko sapņu pētījumiem. And uh, thanks to this I came last year. Uh, I met uh, when I was in Guatemala with my uh, initiate me like my priest. I met a woman from uh, Lithuania. <laughs> And uh, so this is again, please, in Guatemala, there was yeah, such an initiation with uh, my priest. My priest initiation. My priest. Ah, my priest. You were initiated. Yeah, I was initiated with my priest. You were initiated with my priest. Tur viņš satika Lietuviet. Jā, un tur viņš satika Lietuviet. 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 Tur viņš satika Viņš izlēma atbraukt. Viņš izlēma interesēties par to un atbraukt arī uz šeit. Viņa, 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 so uh, we decided to unite uh, forces on uh, my many years work and uh, also with Mariana and we made Slavonic cycle. So you established together with Mariana with yes. uh, Yes. It will be a bit later. It will be a little later, this information, but by, according to this, this slide, uh, you can see that uh, there is some history. We work uh, everybody and then uh, we get some uh, meeting point, which was uh, last year. Now I will, I will put. We are doing some copies, which we can some photos uh, from different locations. And, Oh. Oh, the woman from uh, Lithuania is the Vile, and uh, left, uh, it's Alesha Ketseli, it's my friend, he's, uh, uh, he's uh, a parvitual a Mexican shaman. This lady, she's like some shaman from Guatemala. Oh yeah, she, she's very look, looking like a Guatemala woman. We, we made together in Mexico Kobohu. Uh, Ochodenios organization. And then it's coming uh, some last picture, the, the previous picture is my teachers from uh, Guatemala my tradition. They support uh, recovering the roots, uh, flowing roots. They say they give like uh, blessings. Yeah. And uh, there is some uh, there is some uh, picture from uh, uh, from ceremony which is uh, 
And you can see the amount of people we started, there was four or five people coming and now it's 50, 60 people sometimes, it's really, really a uh, lot of happiness because uh, we are starting with uh, some uh, like a group, like a bigger group. So Okobohu is still continuing till today, but what happened last year was that on ECR in Vilnius me and Zdeněk met. We met on one very old Slavonic settlement in the center of Prague and uh, there came 40 people, which for the Czech uh, conditions is a quite a huge number for uh, the first meeting. Czechia. Yes, in, we registered as an organization uh, uh, in December uh, last year and here you can see what we are trying to do. Okay, I can say it more, but I don't know if you want to translate it more. In uh, December we registered and uh, then we became as a society officially. And here you can see what we do. Slavonic Circle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Today we start to, uh, we try to uh, restore the domestic tradition uh, and uh, return the lost spiritual heritage. And we also do research of uh, the, our sources, archaeological or um, written. Mm. Uh, we do trips at least once a, a month and also seminars for the public where always some topic is discussed <coughs> and also we have the weekend uh, meetings where we for example sew the dress or create some uh, um, jewel jewelry and uh, we would like to invite you the next summer, 14th to 18th of July 2016. We are organizing the uh, ECR, uh, ethnic, European Ethnic Congress of Religions, which is organized every two years. And if you may allow, I would like to send around the invitations. <laughs> It's a four-day event where different uh, where all different groups present. Uh, we have a conference day, we have excursion, and we have also topics to discuss. Last year uh, the declaration of ethnic religions was made and many groups have translated it into their native languages and put it uh, on website, put it more into public. Declaration of ethnic religions. Yes. So that's for us now, and we can click to the next slide. Uh, I would like to say uh, one information about this. Uh, I think it's a very, very, very special moment because. Uh, 
in our, in our, in our country there was big repression of the traditions. So by communist people, by communist party last time, and before by, uh, you know. <laughs> and, so uh, I think Prague is very uh, magic place, very, very historical place, very beautiful place, and uh, it's like uh, our country is like heart of Europe. So I think it's very nice to come there and uh, be together there. Prague is a what we are planning next year is to show the people old pagan places where religion was uh, um, practiced and in the main city, in the capital, which uh, is not something, because we have found many, many cultic places in the whole republic, but not so many in our capital and this will be really quite exceptional event. Un nākamā gadā pasākums būs īpaši ar to, ka mēs vedīsim ekskursijā pa sanā, sanā kultu vietām, sanām kulta vietām, kuras ir atklātas tieši Prāgā, jo ir apzinātas daudz Čehu republikā, bet tieši Prāgā tā, 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 tas būs nu, liels jaunums un nozīmīgs pasākums. Okay, so let's look at the, our celebrations. Uh, on the upper two pictures you can see the celebration called Kračun, which uh, in Scandinavian tradition it's called Yule. Uh, it's uh, the third weekend uh, or third Saturday of December. Uh, this is during the day, and after the celebration, we make a small altar. You can also see it under it. This is the uh, more hotter time uh, where people bring uh, food, and then we make a celebration to gods, and we all meet and experience it uh, at the end of the ritual. <laughs> This um, treat all that people are, uh, have brought. This is for yes, uh, everybody self. brings something, yeah. something, and then we have a feast at the end of the ceremony. The ceremonies are very important because people are not meeting so much uh, by days, like by traditions. So it's something new in the Central Europe, and uh, there are groups that are, for example, working a longer time, longer period, but uh, they, they are visiting with five, seven people. And what is our intention is to try to bring the tradition to to public, uh, open it for everybody. Look, the sanākšana, the tikšanās, tā ir izgaisusi no mūsdienu praksis un dzīves. Un tāpēc mēs vēlamies to atjaunot, ka cilvēki sanāk kopienas vai grupas cilvēku viņi sanāk un svinkt. Atzīmē. Do you know any people from here? Vai ir pasīstamas kādas seis no šī? This is where we met on a vote to put some nice pictures from what we think last year. It's from here. It's from, from here. It's a place uh, which built, uh, I think, Jonas Vajunas. And there is a calendar in this place. <coughs> in our country, it's a goddess Mokosh. No, goddess Mokosh. And here is, I think, Jemia. No, in Lithuania, it's Jemia, yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. If I'm not wrong, we <laughs> But it's okay. Yeah. Okay, so. So, calendar. <laughs> <laughs> we have also calendar. Awesome. Uh, and uh, the name of Eskrachun. Okay. 
Mums arī ir kalendārs. Četri galvenie svētki. Vasaras saugriežī, kupadla un ziemas saugriežī kračūn. Pavasar ekonomiciem probodā. It's not on the slide, but the name of calendar in our language is kolovrat. It means returning of the wheel. Yeah, and so it means kolovrat means that the turning, and there are eight principal celebrations, which is very similar, connected to Slavic word, to Celtic word. It's very connected. Arī tā patā sastoņu, šis astoņu, dalīm sastoņās laika, nogriežņos arī ir ļoti līdzīgs slavu un balku. Yes, and in, in general there are two equinox, two solstices, and then the four, uh, like the natural uh, celebrations, uh, which are uh, very connected with solid worlds. Tāpat tāpat ir, protams, augrieži un ekvinocijas, un pēc tarpu vēl šīs te uh, gada laiku no ASB sezonas uh, galvenie svētki. Oh, for us, uh, we, can, we can talk a long time on the calendar, but for us uh, there are some priorities, and again it's meeting people together, and they feel what is happening in the nature. Because uh, in the city you can feel the nature well, but in the nature we, we are celebrating and doing ceremonies. You can feel a real, a real energy of the nature, and this is our intention: that people can feel it and they can come together. Apvidos, jo pilsētā nevar tā izjust šo šīs svētku būtību, to dabas tuvumu, bet to, kā tā daba ritēja savu, savā ritējumā šo svētkus, to vislabāk var izjust tieši laukos. Yeah, you can see the names of our feasts uh, on the board. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Hromitsa, Hrom is the storm, <coughs> celebrated in February. Ja, visi svētu nosaukumi ir, šeit ir arī vasāmi, jo Kronica februārī atgriešanās pie gaismas, ja Kronica. Not so new, it's the night of the fires, which we celebrated in May. Un tad ir uguņošanas nakts, kuru svin maijā, nāc oknu. Žņē, it's like harvest when you collect it, and this is in August. Un augustā ir ražas laika svētki. And then Navi, day of Navi, the world, is the, in October, it's day of the dead. Un oktobrī svin mirušo. What day? It's in November. It's at the end of November, at the end of October, beginning of November. Yeah, yeah. October, yeah. November. The date, the date is a question because the dates by uh, they have been uh, established uh, for now is established by church. They, they give uh, people confirmation or uh, to say uh, allowance allowance to do the ceremonies. But the real dates, they are, they, they are uh, you need to calculate them. Tās te atbilstoši ir baznīcas diktētie svētki, bet lai mēs pateiktu precīzi, kurā laikā katrs no šiem svētkiem tas ir jārēķi. So, so they are moving between Ekinox and Solstices these days. Jā, jo viņas ir aptuveni pa vidu starp Ekinoxiju un, 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 un saugriežiem. We have, of course, the four main feasts. Uh, that's Kopadla, summer solstice. It's time where people wash. Yeah. Summer solstice. Yeah. First, first uh, it's it's now. Which is now. Today. Today. Vasaras salgriež viņiem tas šis nosaukums Kopadla. Tas nozīmē mazgāšanos. People wash. People wash in the river. Yeah. It's bath. Yeah. They enter to the lake. Yes, and open it. During the ritual, which is very nice. Yes, it is. It is a ritual. Yes, and open it. And then the rest we have mentioned winter solstice. Kachun, as you have seen, Provoda, it's spring equinox and autumn equinox. Hodi. Hodi is a feast. Feast. Jā, un kā pavasara ekonomicis daudzās pravotā, un 
We meet once in a month and we have different seminars. You can see the topics, a ritual calendar, shamanism in Slavonic tradition, women in Slavonic tradition, the instrument brumle, you know, it's the one which you play. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> And the authentic, for example, authenticity of Slavonic sources, which one is valid, which one isn't, and then so-called creative wiki, weekends and uh, tours around Prague and the Czech Republic. You can see here a few uh, photographs from, uh, from the ceremonies. The first one is the offering for the gods, which we made you know, during the ceremony and that we, in the evening we gather there. Then you can see the gratitude when we paint uh, ourselves with the paintings. And then it, there is time where uh, demons are coming, uh, taking the place uh, in the cycle to clean dark energies. So this is, this is a very powerful ceremony, you know, winter solstice. Uh, this is the part and the paintings are like the uh, scary things and also some uh, some changings uh, in your shape yeah. in the solstice. When, when the, all is clean, the sun can reborn. <laughs> when everything is clear, the uh, sun can reborn. So you, see, you can see traditional fireplace and uh, some meeting. What projects are we going to do? So, um, this summer we are going to prepare a family day. We are trying to put the Slavonic religion also in contact between families, uh, mother, adults, and children. Uh, this autumn we are planning a meeting of pagans from all Czech Republic in order to present each other and uh, create some possible future cooperation. We are planning to build something, what do you know, like that this? We also want to, yeah, we also want to be able to do something like that. Because in our culture, it's a very big part. This healing, healing ritual, it's very nice, and we found it was there. So we want to invite somebody from Lithuania, from our friends we have there. They help us to build like this. Which is sweating ritual, if you don't know what this spirit is, is sweating ritual, it's like a sauna, the traditional ritual sauna. And now we are in Latvia, and this summer we are also going to Russia. There is going to be two thousand and a half people where we are going to participate uh, as well. Um, 
and also some other countries like Slo uh, Slovakia, Poland, and uh, many more. And uh, where, where is it in Russia? It's in Kaluga, one hour from Moscow. We were invited to a ritual by the local group. We are trying to collect real information to Slavic culture, which is no like manipulated esoteric. Or, no, we're trying to do really deep, like digging deep roots, and it's a little bit complicated because we don't have many resources. So uh, we are uh, the travels, all the activities are really activity to try to find the roots and the real information, which are uh, very little, the real ones. So, uh, for example, in Poland are some uh, old texts people they know, they know in Ukraine and Russia. So this is why we travel and we want, we want to collect this information and then also discover the information we have in our country, which is a really deep research and scientific work. Uh, work. You can see our contacts, uh, we can be on the internet, uh, we are called Slavonic Circle, in Czech it's slovanskykruh.cz and the same is also on Facebook. If you just write Slovanski Kruh, you will find us there. And there is email Slavonic Circle, Slovanski Kruh at uh, gmail.com. Uh, because here is uh, here is many people from India. Uh, I would like to say that uh, also uh, by, my, by our side we are doing discovering uh, connection between Slavic culture and Vedic culture, and we have uh, Expertinci Republic in uh, Sanskrit and Upanishad. So it's very exciting work because our language uh, has deep connection with uh, uh, Sanskrit culture. Un ļoti interesanti un fascinējoši ir apzināties to, ka mūsu kultūrai, tā, kā saka, slāvu un baltu kultūrām ir saikņi ar, ar sanskritu un indiešu. So we want to extend this knowledge, like by the history, very, very far, to know the true. This is the important. Un mēs vēlamies iedziļināties šajās vēstures cīlēs, kas to apliecinām. Jā. This is just something, some mishmash of uh, things we do. We teach children how to make bread. <laughs> this is uh, the next time before we met. Uh, he's having a seminar, so you can see how many people came. And this is how we share, uh, how we share the fire after the ritual and something from our country. And we will see, maybe we will play a bit of video if it's possible. Anybody has any questions? Yes? Yes, curious. It's Spanish in Guatemala. Zdeněk uh, started in Guatemala. So yeah. he has this uh, no background, <laughs> yes. and, and, like he's an uh, yeah. immigrant there. And, and we then met he started. Year. We met last year in. Yeah, Vilnius. but now in Czechoslovakia or in Prague. In Czech Prague. Republic, yeah, yeah. 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 And you stood back to practicing the shaman. Um, uh, there come many people with the drums, which we will play also in a second, yeah. but. Um, it's up to everybody, you know, we have some uh, topic and then uh, everybody experiences it a bit different. Because in, if I understand correctly, the shaman practices, they also do the healing, mm -hmm. and, and, right? Well, we haven't come to that yet, but we are working on it. <laughs>